Hey guys, you, um, I've been getting a lot of emails and questions in regards of what is due for your group work for this Sunday. It was originally due tonight, Saturday by midnight, but I extended it to Sunday tomorrow by midnight because I've received some emails um, asking me what to do when certain um, group members have not been replying. And I understand that that's one of the concerns with group work, but um, in personal growth, there is a group component that we want you all to work collaboratively and actually be able to work amongst each other. I'll see how the posts are going tomorrow by midnight, and I'll let you know what my decision is based on how much you actually submit your work. But in terms of what is due, when we go here to the tabs under group work, you are going to find your assigned group the group here it's listed who's the group leader and where are your group um, colleagues and their email addresses i sent emails to each group individually last sunday giving you all instructions in terms of who is the group leader and how you should contact each other based on the email address provided here and maybe starting a google doc um, as groups you're going to go to the discussion board and you need to actually post two things one would be as a group collaboratively and only posting one response together as a group. And the other is within your groups, you will individually respond to the question. So let's go first to the group assignment. When we go to here, week four, um, chapter five, no taking slash chapter six test, this is the group post. Um, you will all in groups of four, um, and eventually it was groups of five because we had more students, but in groups of four, you have to discuss as a group what to turn in a minimum 300 word in response to these five questions. What do you agree are three things you should do to prepare for taking a test? What are the benefits and disadvantages of cramming for a test? Do you agree that there are ways to predict test questions and which are they? What techniques could you do during a test to be successful? And in consensus, share how many of you remember test information that was included in a test you took more than a year ago. Do you think yes or no? Um, like I emailed you guys, it is up to the group leader to send me an email letting me know if every member contributed to the response. If they did not, please let me know that a member did not contribute and they will receive less points. For this post, you do not need to reply to um, another group's or person's post. For this post, I only expect to see at this point six posts since we only have six groups. So if I click here and you're creating a thread, I should only see six group threads. I have seen none so far. Um, I did extend the deadline to tomorrow, so I'm hoping that's why there are no posts yet. But I will only um, be seeing one post per group, minimum 300 words, and collaboratively you responding to these five questions. I'm hoping that makes itself clear. I emailed you guys all on Sunday of last week and told you it would be a good idea maybe to create a Google Docs and each other respond to that document, to the five questions, and somebody compile the five questions where there are similarities, where it's different, and then the group leader would just respond what the group members decided to turn in for 300 words to this group post. That could still be something you guys can do, uh, however you want to do it. The deadline has been ex um, extended to tomorrow by midnight. And then your second group post is this. I already created a tab for group one, group two, group four, group three, and group five, and group six. Here, and some people have been starting to do that, let's say you're in group one. You are going to answer these questions out of the CSU General Education Cheat. After viewing the student education plan video tutorial, which is going to be over here in assignments and rubrics, you are going to find the student education plan tutorial and some of the documentation. Ultimately, this is going to be the assignment you're going to turn in individually. So I make myself clear, you're going to view this assignment, this video education plan tutorial. Here is a CSU general education sheet. You're going to go back here to the discussion board post within your group. We're going to go down to where it says group one. These questions should be addressed by the groups only with the members of the group, meaning only the four of you that are members of group one are going to post in this section. 
After viewing the student education plan video tutorial, downloading and reviewing the education plan sheets and getting familiar with the assignment, you must answer these questions within the group thread. So here, I expect to see four threads, one per group member. All members should be posting an answer and only on the group threads. These answers will allow you to complete your individual education plan assignment better as you will have a better understanding. These questions to be answered by group members are, which, are, which areas represent the golden four? What grades are acceptable under the golden four? Let's say under the CSU general education sheet, the yellow sheet. In areas D, can you take economics 120, 120, 120 to complete the area? Why or why not? When you see an asterisk in the CSU G, she, what does it mean? Is a D grade passing? I have 20, I have 33 units completing complete with grades of C and better, and I have completed checked off catch category. Can I get my general ed certificate? Why or why not? These are examples. So questions one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You do not need to answer all seven if you don't have an answer, but you can because this is going to be part of your total points for the student education plan assignment that you will be turning in individually later. Like I said here, I will be monitoring the answers and letting you know what is score, what is correct or incorrect. Participation is needed from every group member in order to secure the 20 points towards the 100 total points available for the assignment later on. So for group one, I have nobody posting there yet. Group two, also nobody. I have one student posting in group four, two students posting in group three, nobody posting in group five, and nobody posting in group six. So here, let's say again, under group six, I expect all four members of the group to reply to these questions, whether all of them or some of them, but I am monitoring your work, preferably all the questions, and how I'm seeing you answer whether or not you will not have 20 points towards the 100 points available for the assignment. What is the assignment? When we go back to assignments and rubrics, and this is on your syllabus, the assignment is nowhere due anytime soon. After viewing this assignment, here are the general education sheets for CSU for the Agetsti and for the district at Mesa City in Miramar. This is the education plan worksheet, how you're going to fill it out and actually complete it. This is the actual assignment. You could either do the PDF or the fillable PDF. If you want to do it by hand, it would be PDF, and then you would do it by hand, scan it, send it to me in the assignment down here. This is where you're going to submit your assignment later on, or the fillable PDF, up to you. And this is the actual um, place where you're going to submit it down here. Does this all make sense? I'm posting this assignment um, tutorial because I've been getting a lot of questions. Some of you seem not to be um, really understanding where you're going to submit your post for this week, but again, for this week, it's going to be here, one post per group for week four, chapter five, note taking chapter six test, and then within your group, you're going to respond individually, and I should see four posts per group member under only your thread, okay? If you have any questions, again, email me. The deadline has been extended to tomorrow by midnight. So this is the end of this video tutorial. And if you have any questions, please email me.